name is uh, Jakob Köpernick. I'm the front office manager of the Intercontinental Davos. You always have uh, challenges each day um, that are different. Uh, you work with great people that share your passion, um, that understand that it's a people business and uh, that goes two ways, not only for the guests but also for the people you work with. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot about passion and a lot about love for people and uh, that's what I like to do. I like to spend my time with that. I think that's very rewarding and uh, that's how I yeah, came to the business. <laughs> Inspiration for me can be found in the little things. Um, for me, it's it's very special to know that uh, the places I work in um, are places of, of luxury, of, of kind of retreat. Yeah? The people choose to spend time with me, but not in the sense of me as a person, but in the sense of um, my team, my hotel, the, the environment we provide. Um, and time is the most valuable thing all of us on this planet have. So if somebody chooses to spend the time with me and uh, they, they choose to come here because they say, oh, Jacob, your team is so wonderful, they're always so friendly and they, they take care of me, for me that's very rewarding. So that's an inspiration if I come to work and maybe I had a hard day the day before, long day, you all know that, um, but I come to work and I know, oh, okay, my very... Um, high profile guest that is a repeating guest is there and uh, she wants to talk only with me and she takes time off her busy schedule and off her vacation time uh, to sit down with me and talk one hour about her last vacation or her next one or about how her kids are doing for me that's just a real appreciation of what we do um, across all the hotels um, that really have the same passion and uh, that inspires me to go uh, and do that every day Intercontinental Davos is a very special place um, although I think uh, each of us would uh, definitely say that about their own hotels too <laughs> but um, as it is a branded hotel from the Intercontinental uh, brand um, it has a very special position as we are actually the only one in the entire uh, company that is uh, seasonal operated so uh, we have a summer season and a winter season and in the, in the, in the between we are closed, um, so that brings its own challenges, not only for staffing, recruiting and keeping up the high standards that Intercontinental has, but also to meet and excel the expectations of our guests. That is very um, yeah, special to achieve the same kind of feeling, the, the, the same warmth, the same hearty feeling that you have in uh, other uh, hotels of this luxury line. 
Um, so yeah, that makes it uh, very unique and it makes it also um, a great place. On top of that, uh, the World Economic Forum that takes place every year is um, of course a big thing, a big topic in the entire region here of Davos. Um, as I just uh, experienced my first World Economic Forum uh, this winter, I can truly say um, I've never seen something like this. <laughs> I have worked in a couple other um, leading hotels of the world. I know high standards, I know high profile guests and I enjoy working with them. But what happens here during this one week is uh, it's something else. So that's uh, a, a really cool place to see how that can be organized, how that is orchestrated throughout all departments. Um, so just to give you an example, during the winter season, the entire staffing of the hotel is around 170 to 180 people working across all departments. And then uh, during the WEF, uh, we get a task force of another 80 people. So actually we have 280, 270, something around that, um, that will yeah, help us uh, make everybody happy. And uh, yeah, you know that the uh, top VIPs are coming and it's very rewarding when the week is over to see they all left happy, they will come back, uh, there was no major incident and uh, all the people that worked here left with a smile, although they're all tired, I won't lie, <laughs> but uh, it's a great opportunity, basically. exactly that was but um, I'm sure it was when I worked in the Chopin Grand Hotel and um, I heard uh, through media about the contest of receptionist of the year so I was like oh man I want to be receptionist of the year like how can I do that right so um, I inquired more about it and um, uh, yeah since my hotel didn't have an ICR member um, there was nobody directly I could talk to um, and then I um, it was a little late you know the deadline was already uh, over for the for this year's competition when it was um, but I kept looking it up and you know try to find out what's the purpose what are they doing and you know um, what what is all of this and uh, by that time I was still the um, assistant front office manager and I was like okay once I get that promotion, once I am in the place that I want to be and I am the front office manager, I will reach out to them directly and uh, become a member. And at least, if I cannot be that, make it possible for my team to uh, participate in the competition and, you know, get connected with people that share our visions and our passion. So that's how I learned. And then when I became front office manager in the US, um, that was a little far away. Um, and I knew I had to return because of the visa. So I waited until I came back and uh, basically three weeks after I came back and I started my uh, job here in Davos, um, I became a member. to think that I will be in a more advisory role. Um, I really enjoy the part of my job right now where I can um, help people achieve their goals, um, help my team members to become better as a person but also in their job. Um, I like trainings, um, I, I like to do them and I like them. Um, the, the responses I get, you know, when I see that um, I just recently did that with uh, my team members and uh, they weren't quite sure how could they 
you know, get the enrollment targets for the loyalty program, for example. So I issued some training and then uh, one week later, one of my team members come to me and she was like, oh, Jacob, if I knew it's that easy, I would have done it right from the beginning. And she was very happy, you know, because um, for them, it's also an incentive to know they are good at it. And um, I think when you know you do your, good, your job good and you get good feedback from um, your team, from uh, the guests especially, that gives you a special feeling that you can rarely find in other jobs. We have such a short feedback um, time, you know, when you do something good, you will get feedback very fast and that can lift you up and, and cheer you up even if you have a hard day. As I mentioned, uh, you know, we all know that sometimes 12 hours or even more. But if you have just one guest that says, Jacob, I appreciate you taking care of me today. That's great. So in 10 years, I would love to be in a position where I can um, do that even more to, to help people develop maybe um, a little bit kind of a consulting role advisory but still specialized on the luxury hospitality and as my main focus is the front office i would love to remain uh, in that position yes the advice that feels rude for me as I'm such a new member um, but I think everything I heard so far all the people I met are great and I think there are much more great people out there that um, maybe we just have to attract them you know and make them aware that there is an association with people that share our passion that share our love and where you can connect with people that have the same mindset you know and that makes you very comfortable um, I can only say for myself, since I joined and all the, the, the people I met, um, it's so good to know that there are people that know exactly what my struggle every day is, what my challenges are, and they know why I do it. It's not like when, you know, if I talk to my family, they're like, oh my god, Jacob, 14 hours again, why do you do that? I don't have to explain that. This is a different kind of family for me, where when I call, somebody else in our ICR and I tell them, hey, listen, I have this obstacle here. Do you have an idea how I can overcome? How do you do that in your hotel? Because we straight advice without judging with anything. It's just uh, that's my advice would be keep pushing that, make that bigger, make that more accessible for the members that we know we're all here for each other. I think that's the greatest assets we have. And uh, for young people, especially in the front, desk operations or yeah I would say they should not lose faith yeah? I know when I was younger I always wanted to show the best side of me and I was very eager to learn to develop to pursue my career basically because I knew what I'm good at and what I'm not good at and everything I'm good at kinda is what I do right now so for me I do what I love and uh, that is something that is hard to find in life I think um, there are jobs that are definitely better paid, you have better hours, you have better overall packages. However, if that is something you don't love, that will never feel like it's worth your time. But if you do something that is worth your time, keep at it and reach out to people that have the same mindset to help you elevate yourself and become a better person and a happier person. I think that's worth a lot. <laughs>